If you want to be rich, by now you should know that you can succeed easily with just one income source. Having several sources of income is one of the fundamental principles of wealth. How to have several streams of income is by having several assets that bring returns regularly, forming a large pool of resources for you to thrive in wealth. An asset is any item or thing you possess that has the capacity to generate revenue. In corporations, assets are usually large machines used in their production lines. In finance, assets cover either houses or properties, precious stones, gold, rare artworks, jewelry, commercial cars, laptops, and so on. As long as the thing can be sold for value and can be used directly to generate income, it will qualify as an asset. 1. Investing in real estate Real estate is an expensive asset but very valuable for long-term investing. Rich people buy real estate and subsequently sell. They try to buy from areas that are likely to appreciate over time. This will ensure that they profit from their investments. American billionaire Stephen Ross and Donald Bren made their fortune from real estate investments. How then do you know which real estate to buy? You need the services of professionals for that. You can end up buying a property in an area that takes too much time to appreciate if you're not careful. Real estate investments requires a lot of patience though. If you own a property that you have not been able to sell, perhaps you can use it as a collateral to get finance for your other businesses. It is a great asset to invest in, but it is not advisable to hold only real estate assets if you're not very liquid. They can take a lot of time to sell. 2. Dividend Paying Stocks Dividends are actually very interesting. They come at a specific time and if you're not always thinking about them, they can be a pleasant surprise. Imagine receiving $1,000 on a Monday morning. It sure can make anyone smile. Wealthy people invest a lot in stocks of good companies. They don't speculate. Speculations is investing with a hope that a company will thrive. People who do that sometimes lose a majority or even all their investments. Peter Thiel, an American billionaire, was Facebook's first outside investor. He acquired 10.2% for $500,000 in 2004. When Facebook started doing well, the value of his share in Facebook was more than $1 billion. It may not be easy to figure out which companies are doing well. You probably have to read a lot of books on investing. It becomes easier to invest as a long-term activity and not an avenue for quick cash out. The more time you take, the better your investment decisions. Ultimately, many venture capitalists beyond looking at the founder's business plan usually also trust their guts. Don't invest money you can't lose. That way, it is easier to deal with losses. Read about the company you are interested in. Read about their leadership, their antecedents, and the policies that are likely to affect them in the long run. 3. Agriculture and Agro-Allied Products Agriculture is also a thriving area for business. Many rich people are investing in agriculture because they know that we will always need food. Agricultural products never go out of style. They invest in land to be used for agricultural purposes and in different agro-allied products. They try to get the land in an area close to the market with access to roads and water supply. They know farmers will love it. People who invest in agriculture also enjoy some tax incentives, so it's a win-win situation. 4. Copyright and Patents Other assets rich people invest in are copyrights and, if possible, patents. They can write books and sell while they continue with their businesses. Having copyright over a book or a movie can give you royalty income on a quarterly or yearly basis depending on your arrangements. Royalties can be very handsome sums. You really should try getting yourself one. 5. Pieces of jewelry. They can be silver, gold, or bronze. They are all valuable nonetheless. If you buy great jewelry at a good price, you can sell at a higher price subsequently depending on the demand. Jewelry can be especially in demand during seasons. You have to do some networking and one-on-one -on -one marketing if you want to sell at a premium. Diamond studded necklaces and rings can fetch you thousands of dollars if you know what you are doing. 6. Rate Rates are quite popular too. You may not want to own real estate directly. This is a great alternative. Investing in these companies can give you professional insight into the right properties. They will also take the stress of looking for buyers, marketing, and maintenance of the properties purchased away from you. 
It's a long-term investment, though. You may not be able to liquidate with a snap of your thumb. Most rich people accumulate their wealth over some time. If you want to be rich too, try being patient for a start. 7. Rentals You can own a rental. This is extremely valuable because it can help people have shelter while they conduct their businesses. Depending on the size of the property and where it is located, you can rent out apartments or rent out land spaces. It brings income gradually, but it is always constant. People need homes more during this pandemic than ever. They have to stay indoors. They may also have to move from a high-risk pandemic area to a low-risk pandemic area. If you have properties in regions where the pandemic is not as rampant, you can have many tenants in this period. 8. Gold This is probably the most precious metals. Gold can be an excellent investment especially now people are not really buying a lot of it. This can mean that when they stop being so focused on the pandemic and actually start looking to buy, you can sell at a premium. You can buy as much gold as you want, but be careful you may incur storage charges. Gold can be as volatile as shares, but high risk also means high profit. Having gold in one's investment can help with portfolio diversification. It can also serve as a hedge against inflation. 9. Bonds You have probably heard this before, but well, here it is again. Bonds can give you interest over a long period. The interest rates may typically not be as high as stocks, but they are stable and less risky. Investing in bonds in this period is actually better since the stock market may respond simultaneously with the ongoing global crisis. If you want to make further investments, you should really consider investing in bonds. Your interest can also compound if you decide to leave it. This is actually a really good type of investment for your retirement. 10. Precious Stones who doesn't like diamonds, rubies, sapphire, emerald, or turquoise? Because people will always be drawn to the attractions of precious stones, it will always provide a ready market for investments for people. People just love having their ornaments and accessories dotted and lined with these precious stones. Try investing in some of them if you can. It can be a great asset to have, especially if you want to be able to liquidate quickly. 11. Artifacts they are extremely rare. Not many investors can even lay their hands on one. But when they do, it becomes a vast fortune. They are mostly discovered from traveling. And well, not everyone loves traveling. 12. Timber You can own an expense of land and a right to harvest timber. Timber is quintessential in construction work, furniture, and paper. It can really give you a lot of returns. Investing in timber can ensure a steady flow of income. Even if the timber in the land is exhausted, you can still use the land for farming or other purposes you conceive. 11. Private Equity You can buy equity in businesses with prospects as an investor. This is very important if you have cash that you want to invest and reap from over time. Some rich people have invested in startups that went on to become multi-million dollar businesses. Do your research first. Who are the founders? What are the antecedents? What is the profile of your team? Do they have a track record of excellence? Are they motivated enough? If the answer to all these questions is yes, you can go ahead and invest. If, however, the answer is no, you can check for another business with prospects. You can even invest in an idea as well as it is well thought out and explained in profit terms.